Uh, it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the highway map and we've got Money Man from One Hour Clan in the Manticore. And he's platooned with Captain Oz, who's in an object 268, and it's an all tier 10 battle. Alright, so standard battle, it's a 15 minute game. And it looks like it's heading to spot the tanks that are coming up the, um, the road along the J-line there. Um, you can get plenty of spots there, although they, the road has got a bit of a, um, a hollow behind it, so they do get obscured a bit, but the taller tanks will get spotted. Alright, so a bit of a risky move. It's very close to the road here, and he's going to rely on his camo, but um, so far knocked down any trees but now you see spotted straight away so he's already picked up a fair bit of um, sister damage just from that 2k in that quick maneuver did, did copper hit but um, so far he's given his team a fair bit of information about what's getting into the city uh, you know, getting shot there by enemy light tank the Panzer Wagon. And in fact, he's yeah, taken multiple hits, so again, sort of high risk but high reward sort of strategy here. And just circling back to keep up the pressure on the enemy. And gets spotted again, of course, runs away. Luckily, bounces the incoming round here that would have halved his health. Another bounce as well. So it's already got 1.5k of spotting damage here, and it's um, where it's in the first three minutes, so it's showing up in the um, team scores there. They've killed one enemy tank, but they are nearly 9,000 hit points in advance there. Now his damage total just clicking up there again, five and a half or five point seven k. So Fockbeat has decided to run away and head back to uh, safety. Although he's been yeah really crushed there and sitting under the bridge. May not last long, but unless um, many man still looking for these targets coming up the, the J road and the JP E1000 uh, he finally puts a shot in <laughs> and he takes another shot oh and another one actually the F5 would have low 5 could have taken him out he's taken multiple shots on his tracks I suppose that's one of the issues well not an issue with the Medicore but it's mostly tracks from the side um, but uh, yeah, it could easily have been taken out there by the FV, but it just landed a few centimetres in a different direction. But uh, now down to just over 10% of his original health, but that's okay. Enough to let you keep moving, keep spotting, and keep firing. Now there's the um, Panzer Wagon that put a couple of shots into him, and you might get the satisfaction of getting the kill. Let's have a look. And he's just knocked off the uh, CS. And can he get the shot in? No, unfortunately he doesn't get the kill, but that's okay. He's now picked up a decent amount of spotting damage, 6.7k. And his team has basically rolled over the enemy team to a large extent. They're now... <laughs> look at that hit point difference there. The enemy's only got 9k of health left. Alright, there's an enemy um, 268 who's really pushed up quite a long way and he's just sitting there in a bush waiting to have him taken out by his team and that uh, TD just not moving so he could have gone AFK doesn't really matter, he's back in the uh, garage now so bringing his spotting up to 8.6k and nearly 9k total combined and that Fock is down there somewhere, that's why he's pausing at this point here not that he wants the VZ to find where the Fock is by being shot, but that'll in fact, there he goes. If he just kept going, 
he would have run straight into him, but now, well, the fox has gone as well. So that takes out one of the dangers. And now it's just the two FP4005s who are back at base, and the two Arties, and then heavy tanks that uh, must have retreated because they're not in the city now. Anyway, Captain Oz has pushed up to try and get some damage. One of the gorilla gets taken out by 50B, possibly another hit from the FE. But uh, again, still some good targets left and the opportunity to get some more damage or assisted damage there. Although they're starting to get spotted already by the other tanks that have made it up there. How many men spotted Artie there? And he gets taken out by the gorilla. Puts a shot into the FD4005. Captain Oz gets the kill there. This is Kranwagen, there's still a 50B, and although they're both on reduced health, 50B particularly, and then there's the GWE100, who's probably in the corner. And there's 50B, 123 hit points, and not anymore. And the GWE100 puts another shot in, which brings his total up to 1200, and now he's got a total of 9000 of assisted damage as well. So, nice short, sharp gain there. Let's go and look at the detail. All right, here's the details. So 12.44 of his own damage and 9.3k of assisted. So that's giving him 10.5k of combined damage there, which is a good result. But he's just earned a second class award. Well, nothing wrong with it, of course. Um, but let's have a look at the um, base EXP and the team scores. All right, so he's finished on top with 1,017. And normally in a tier 10, that would earn you an ace tanker badge, um, but the Medicore obviously has a slightly higher level. Um, I'll check out the level a bit later, but uh, certainly um, more like 1200 I think would get you close to ace tanker on that one. And he's finished on top there, and Captain Oz has come in in second place, equal second place, with the GWE100. So Captain Oz getting 4.8k of damage, and 892, which is exactly the same as the GWE100, so he must have got some splash damage uh, there from his shells. And again, a bit of a walkover uh, by their team, quite a few tanks doing over 3k, and even the Gorilla 15 doing 4.3k, so some good damage outputs from his team, and on the enemy team, no one got even close to 3k, really, so best being the E100 with 2.1, 2.2, and quite a few zeros. So a lot that to do with the disruption caused by many men spotting. All right, let's have a look at the details. So, well, three shots fired, all three hit, and all three penetrated. They're all done at pretty close range, uh, but uh, more the spotting and this is what can earn you some real credits at uh, tier 10. Um, so personal reserves running, battle payments from the clan, and mission payouts running from holiday ops. Um, it's a very small amount spent on ammunition, and a very small amount spent on consumables. So he's end up with a very tidy profit of 149k, which at tier 10 is not to sneeze at. So a great game there from Maddie Man. Hope you learned something from it. Um, if you like the video and the way we've presented it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. It makes it uh, more visible to other people. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. A lot more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.